The NFT market is expected to reach $1.3 billion by the end of 2021 with over 5.3 million sales to date. And everyone seems to want a piece of that pie. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create and then sell these digital assets. Welcome to Next Level Finance, the channel where we teach you how to make money online with your financial freedom as the ultimate goal. And if that's the kind of content that you're interested in, then do hit the like, subscribe and notification bell buttons down below to make sure that you don't miss out on any of our content. And with that said, let's get right into it. The acronym NFT is short for non-fungible token. And to understand that simply, let's talk about the word fungible. Fungibility refers to something that you can exchange or replace. Just think of how you would use currency and exchange it for other things, like maybe a dollar for four quarters. On the other hand, anything non-fungible would be the opposite. You cannot simply replace or exchange non-fungible goods for other things. Examples of this would be rare coins, signed first edition copies of books, or original artwork. Similar to these rare irreplaceable items, a non-fungible token or simply an NFT acts as a unique digital collectible that cannot be duplicated, making it rare by design. Each NFT is unique and has a non-hackable certificate of authenticity. They can represent almost anything like art, graphics, music, videos, images, you name it. NFTs can also be purchased, collected, sold, or even destroyed just like physical items. Thanks to the blockchain, they come with a transparent transaction and pricing history that's visible to anyone with an internet connection. Creating your own NFT artwork is a pretty straightforward process and doesn't require you to have an extensive knowledge of the crypto industry. As of today, there are hardly any but a few restrictions as to what kind of content can be turned into an NFT. The technology is also still quite new, which makes it an opportune time to experiment with the medium for your own work as both the market and the demand for it continues to grow. Again, you don't need to be a crypto expert to start. In fact, you can get everything set up in just a few minutes right from your phone. So first off, you'll need to decide which blockchain you'll want to issue your NFTs on. This is usually Ethereum as it is the leading blockchain service for NFT issuance. But do feel free to explore others. There are quite a number around already such as Flow by Dapper Labs, the Binance Smart Chain, Polkadot, EOS, Tron, etc, etc, etc. You'll need to note that specific marketplaces can be blockchain specific or compatible. For example, if you decide to go with the Ethereum blockchain, you'll only be able to trade in marketplaces that accept Ethereum as a currency, just like OpenSea. Once you've selected which one you want to use, you'll then need to set up a digital wallet that will allow you to store cryptocurrency that you'll be using to create NFTs and trade them. You'll need this wallet to create accounts in the NFT marketplaces as well. Some of the more popular wallets around would be Coinbase, Metamask, Binance, and Ledger Nano. And some factors that you maybe want to consider as you select a digital wallet that will work best for you are the backup and security features, maybe the compatibility with different operating systems, its user interface, and active product development. Once you have your wallet, you'll want to then connect it to an NFT marketplace, which is something that you can liken to Amazon, but in the digital realm. The biggest NFT marketplace out there is called OpenSea, and it accepts 150 payment tokens and is a great place to start. The OpenSea Marketplace also has a ton of digital assets available on its platform. It's free to sign up and browse the extensive offerings. I find its user interface to be very beginner friendly and it has a very easy process for minting, which is what creating your own NFT is referred to in the crypto world. 
Other great options you can list in are Rareable, Mintable, Nifty Gateway, Super Rare, and Larva Labs. Fun fact, a GIF file recently sold for $600,000 at an auction. And an artist called Beeple, real name Mike Winkleman, sold one of his NFTs for over $69 million, making him the third wealthiest living artist in the world. As a result, everyone from celebrities to athletes to regular folks like you and me have joined the NFT hype. You can basically turn anything in the world into an NFT, meaning the possibilities are truly endless. Before we go through the steps to start selling NFTs, just a quick reminder to please comment, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down below if you're enjoying the content so far. And with that said, let's get back to how to start. Since OpenSea is the biggest NFT marketplace around, let's go through the steps on that platform. So on OpenSea, you'll want to click on the Create button and it will ask you to connect your Ethereum wallet. And once you've entered your password and verified your account, it should connect to OpenSea and you'll be able to proceed. Again, click on the Create button on the top right corner of the platform and select My Elections. And then click on the blue Create button. You'll be able to add your product, title it, and give it a description. This is how you create a folder for your NFT. Once you've assigned a thumbnail for your collection, you'll be able to add new items, and this should lead you to a new window where you can upload your files. You'll also have the option to add special traits and attributes just to show potential buyers how rare your items are, which in the NFT space is highly valuable. Creators will also have the option to include locked content that only the buyer will be able to access. Again, this makes it more appealing to buyers who are looking for scarce items. NFTs are 100% free to create on OpenSea, but some other platforms do charge a fee for this. If you're on the Ethereum platform, users refer to this fee as gas, and the cost of gas depends on network congestion. So when there are more people actively trading and transacting with each other, the higher the price of gas is. Now to start selling your NFT on OpenSea, click on the Asset button and click Sell. You'll be able to choose the type of sale that you want and this usually includes a fi fixed price and an auction among others. Once you start selling NFTs, there will be things that you will learn and might want to consider, such as curation. This means that you might decide to be selective about which kinds of NFTs you'll want to display in which virtual galleries. This is helpful so that the customer experience is more seamless and they're able to view items that are related to your own as they browse. Besides looking more aligned and well thought of, displaying your NFTs with related items should also help the price discovery of your assets. And that's basically all you need to know and do to start selling NFTs online. I hope you got a ton of value from today's content. If you did, then do let us know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that we can let you know each time we post a new video. We have a ton of other content for you on our channel, so do check those out. I'll be leaving links in the description box for you. Alright then, take care guys, and I'll see you again on the next one.